morning. I really have to fire that maid. You know, you could at least pretend to be nice to me. I am the one helping you make Meg jealous. We have a deal. Doesn't mean I have to suck up to you. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. So tell me, is our little subterfuge working? Subterfuge? Any frantic phone calls from Meg? No. She wouldn't. Even if she was jealous, she wouldn't make the first move. Really? I thought you said she was... <clears throat> I thought you said she was freaked out when she saw us canoodling at the Lakeview. Canoodling? <sighs> Did we get a rise out of her or not? Oh, yeah. From here on in, it's just a matter of time. Wow. You're, like, very positive right now. Are you taking your meds? Meds? It's a fait accompli. A fait accompli. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you guys are, like, destined to be together, is that it? Yep, it's in the stars. We're family. You know, when Eliza came along, it changed everything. And I think Meg, in her heart, knows that the three of us belong together forever. Wow, that's really nice. Really. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's anything I can do to make that work, you just... You say the word, Yeah, okay? right. You're just trying to get another canoodle <laughs> out of me. I gotta admit, it's, um... It adds a little spice to my otherwise mundane life these days. Paul, are you home? <laughs> Should we? Maybe she should catch us on the couch. Oh, stop. It's like way too overkill. Make okay. yourself skips. Where? Here. Come on. Why? Okay. Here? Hey. 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 Oh. You didn't hear me. No, I, I mean, I... Yeah, I thought I heard you say my name. I just figured I was dreaming. You, uh, need some coffee? Uh, no, 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 uh, I can't stay long. I came over to apologize. Really? Yeah. For what? Uh, well, I gave you a hard time when I saw you out with Emily, and that was not fair. Look, if, if you want to have a relationship with anyone, even Emily Stewart, I'm not gonna stop. I think maybe I'm the one who owes you an apology. Why? Well, um, Emily and I kind of forgot that we were in public, and you have every right to be annoyed. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't have been annoyed. I mean, we're divorced, Paul. I, I, you can do whatever you want, see whoever you want. You think I want Emily? Well, your body language made that very clear. You were jealous. No. No, look, I, I thought about it, and I realized I shouldn't be, not anymore. I mean, we're both free Wait. agents right now. We should move on with our lives. That, no, we shouldn't. That's a huge mistake. No, it's not. It's not. I think it's the best thing for us, okay? So you just take care of yourself, and, and good luck with Wait. family, okay? Wait, hey, where are you going? Meg! Meg! Hey! Whoa. What was that? That was interesting. What just happened? I think it's simple. I think it's really simple. She just asked your permission to have sex with Dusty. What's this? The emergency contact number for my shrink at the psych ward. You need to call. You need help. I need help? Yes, I, I, I tell you something about Dusty and Meg you don't want to hear, and I need a shrink. Look, you need to Meg and to Dusty train. are not hooking up. I was right here. I heard what she said to you. She wants you to move on, okay? So she can go ahead and move on with Dusty. How do you know? You're not Meg. No, I'm not, but Meg is a, a woman. She is like every other woman. She, she, she's a mother. She would like a man in her life. She has a young child to raise. My child. Do you think Dusty cares about that? This is what he does to make up for losing Jennifer. He's got to play superhero to single mothers. Stop it. There is nothing serious going on between Meg and oh, Dusty. Oh, good grief. You have suspected these two of having a secret relationship ever since Dusty came back into town, and now that she is free to do that, you're in total denial. What the hell is the matter with you? Well, it must be my lucky day. How's it going? Not bad. What's up? Uh, I thought we should talk. About what? Well, um, for one, uh, I kissed the other day. Yeah, yeah, we should get our signals straight. I agree. And be honest with each other. <laughs> totally. You want me to go first? Sure. It was a mistake. And, uh, I won't put you in that position again. <laughs> That's 
that's how you feel. Yeah. How about you? Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm right there with you. I. We agreed to be friends, and and we made a deal. We should stick to it. Yeah, I don't want to lose you as a friend. Well, I'm glad we cleared the air. Yeah, it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what? Um. I'm not working today, and my mother's taking care of Eliza. I'm free if you want to hang out as friends. I, mean. I gotta take this. Hey, Lucy. We're all set. Come on up. I'll be right there. Lucy's letting me spend some time with Johnny. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, where's Greg? In a meeting. I'm taking advantage. Oh, of course. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah, have fun with Lucy. Great, wait, don't go upstairs. I had a meeting just canceled, so I'd like to spend that time with Johnny. You wouldn't want to keep me from that, would no, you? No, not at all. I, I, I just wanted to tell you that I was happy for you, for Johnny, that you have custody. Since when? <sighs> okay, maybe I wasn't happy at first, but it seems that things worked out for the better. After all, everybody says Johnny's very happy. He is. No thanks to you. We're... Was I supposed to forget that you and Dusty tried to get married to keep the judge from ruling I in my favor? I am sorry we tried to keep Johnny away yeah, from Yeah, try that one again, this time with feeling. Okay, you know what you want? You have your son. We all accept that now. I just wanted to tell you that you have my support, for Johnny's sake. Where is this coming from, Meg? Did Dusty put you up to this? Of course not. Well, I don't buy it. You're up to something. What is it? You're trying to get on my good side. You're hoping to convince me to let Dusty spend more time with Johnny. Okay, and you know what? Would it really be that bad? I can guarantee it would be great for Johnny. Yeah, well, I can guarantee you that's not going to happen. The boy needs Dusty. I'm his father. Dusty never was and never will be. Craig is on his way up. Get out now. <laughs> 